Hey there, everybody. I hope everybody had a wonderful Christmas. Um, looking forward to New Year's. Uh, so I know it's been a while since I've updated, but that's what happens with life. Um, <clears throat> hunting season, uh, kids, uh, just the ranch, the whole nine yards. So anyhow, I'm kind of getting back started on the 62. Uh, C10 project. So this is kind of what I have going on now. I'll walk you through what I'm going to do here. So as you can see, it's tore apart again. I can't go that way very much. I'll give it away. Uh, so um, anyhow, <clears throat> um, the motor's out. Uh, this had the 4.2 liter straight six in it. Ran really good. My son decided, uh, or he found a trailblazer that had a bad motor in it. And he asked me, he says, you know, hey, dad, what are you going to do with that motor that's in that one? I said, well, I was going to drive that rig for a while with it in it. And then when I found, uh, you know, because uh, you need the harness, you need all kinds of stuff. I'll go into that a little more um, to put the 5.3 liter in it. Um, so... Anyhow, we just yarded the motor out. We stuck it in this trailblazer for my son and my daughter-in-law. And they're just as happy as all get out. And um, that kind of forced me to make the decision to do the V8 swap. Um, so anyhow, I got my wheels. Check them bad boys out. Uh, 18 by 10s. Them suckers are cool. I think anyways, so so anyways, uh, that is forcing me to do the V8, um, which I really want to do anyways, and I'm like, well, why, why do this pickup and not have it the way I want it? I want a V8 in it. I don't want a straight six, even though them 4.2 liters are cool. If you go back in a couple of my videos, you'll see that, you know, you can turbo them. You can get them over 500 horse. Um, yeah, it's cool for a straight six. I mean, come on. Uh, I've always said there's no substitute for cubic inch. Okay, so I could be wrong about that nowadays, especially with this turbo stuff going on. Um, really cool. Uh, so anyhow, uh, but I want the V8. I want the sound of the V8. I want, I want everything V8. Uh, 5.3 liters. You can get them over a thousand horsepower if you want. Okay. Um, there's a gentleman on YouTube that does it all the time. Uh, twin turbos, cams, heads, intake, all that good stuff. So, but anyways, uh, to get back to what I'm doing, this is what I'm doing now. I should have updated you guys a little more, but I found on one of these auto auctions a 2003 Trailblazer with the 5.2 liter in it. It had some front end damage, not bad. It did not ruin the AC condenser or the radiator, both perfectly fine. Um, you can see here on that front structure, the, the bumper support or whatever you want to call it there. It did hit something. I don't know, but really you could have taken this rig and put a new fender on it, a new hood, two new headlights, a grill and a bumper and it would have been fine. But that's not what I want to do. I want the power plant. So after doing a bunch of research, you need basically to do what I'm doing you really need the entire rig um, so that you're not nickel and diamond yourself to buy all the stuff. Okay, so one thing, power steering. The power steering setup on a V8 versus a straight six is completely different. All your lines are different, your pump's different, the whole nine yards. Um, the other thing is, is even the transmission cooler lines for the V8 application are different. The other thing that's different is all your AC stuff. 
all your AC lines, your AC pump, it's all routed different. Um, the other thing that I really needed for a Trailblazer application is the engine wire harness. I have it now. Um, I mean, just little stuff clear down to the fuel lines on a V8 application versus straight six application are different. And so that's something else that you would need to purchase. Um, let's see here. Clear up to this vacuum hose. This vacuum hose is uh, different on a V8 application. Um, some of the wiring is different. Um, I need to figure some of that out, like this harness right here, a straight six, the 4.2 liter application does not have this. Um, it comes from here, which comes out of the engine harness. So I got to figure out what that is. I need to trace the wires out of this and get them hooked up. So long story short, um, in my opinion, anyways, um, I purchased this vehicle from, let's see right there, uh, IAA. Um, I won the vehicle. I won it for $700. Um, after all the fees and everything, it ended up being $1,086 for this vehicle. Uh, I'm going to try to sell, you know, a lot of the interior stuff, you know, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'll keep it around for another project. Who knows? Um, but for 1,086 bucks, I got a really good motor runs great. Cause I drove this thing, went and done some burnouts and some, uh, donuts and all that stuff with it. Transmission is phenomenal. Uh, works great. Transfer case, same thing. Everything there is, is uh, real working order. Um, and if you notice here, uh, upper loader radiator hoses are new. When I pulled the transmission lines off, transmission fluid is very, very clean. I have not been underneath this. Might have a brand new tranny in it, might not, but it works great and the fluid is clean. Um, and so I think going this route on purchasing a wrecked one, um, is going to be cheaper in the long run because I have everything here. Everything I need to make that move and run, I have right there. So it's all I have to do is finish pulling all of this, get it into this one, um, put the front end back together, front clip, all of that, and I got a, a driving vehicle, um, which I am super pumped with and super happy with. Um, so it, yeah, you know, it's, it's going to be some work and I'll get there. Okay. Y'all. So with all that said, um, I'm going to do a video here and I am going to go through what I have to go through. Cause I know there's, there are some other videos on YouTube of 4.2 liter, 5.2 liter, swaps and trailblazers envoys and all that stuff so is what i'm going to do is i'm going to let you guys know what i come across um i mean if you're mechanically inclined whatsoever anybody can do this um you just got to do it sanitary um don't be cutting wires uh trace out your stuff like on on this project here i'm unhooking the, the motor transmission the complete wiring harness i'm just unhooking from the body chassis and i'm just putting it over onto the motor so that when i pull this thing all that comes with it and i don't have to worry about you know the five thousand little plugs on everything on the motor and the transmission um, I'm, I'm wanting to separate that harness and keep that harness on the motor and transmission um, so that is all i got to do when i put it in um, the envoy chassis um, which is now the 1962 C10, um, is all I got to do is plug it in. Um, pretty easy. And that's the way I would suggest doing it to anybody that's going to do one of these swaps is just keep that engine transmission harness, um, together. Um, make sure you got the, you know, the ECMs, the, um, transmission control modules, all of that with that. Um, I wouldn't need, I, I'm not going to unplug none of that. Um, I'm going to, I'm just going to leave it all with the motor. Um, so with all this said, um, this is the update. This is what I'm doing. Um, 
I hope everybody had a Merry Christmas. Um, I hope everybody has a safe and happy New Year's. Um, let's bring 2021 in because we all know 2020 has been hell, okay, for everybody um, or pretty much everybody. Uh, so uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, please like, click, subscribe, uh, leave a comment. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, give a thumbs up or whatever you guys want to do. If you want to leave a thumbs down, do it. Um, it's a free world. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, thank you, everybody, and have a great New Year's.